destroying some biomechanical stuff. And I say stuff because I don't know if it's going to be a monster, a demon, baby monster, giant. Did a sketch a few days ago. I was watching get uh, some some horror movie on uh, on, uh, on YouTube and also. Uh, switched over to um, documentaries on uh, on missing people. The, the horror movie I was watching. I don't know if it was really more horror or more adventure type. It's had to deal with. Uh, A demon, demon-led army. I think a pirate who had given up his life to go straight because the devil wanted to take his soul. And the main, the main uh, character's name was called Solomon. But, uh, I don't know the name of the movie. It's one of the movies that you find on YouTube that doesn't have the title because then it gets uh, banned because it's not um, for copyright purposes and shit. So again, when I draw this stuff, it's It's like controlled chaos a bit, where I'll uh, put something, start sketching, and when I was watching the movie, which I can't do now because I'm recording with my phone, I was just watching the movie and then going back and forth, like watching it here and then letting my uh, pencil hit the paper and then see what my imagination could see. I like doing this kind of stuff more than, than other stuff just because I, I feel that it's less, uh, it's more free-flowing not that many people could tell me, you know, that's wrong, that doesn't look like the original character, it's too big, that's cricket. Um, these sort of things, even if the light source is, is off, I could, it's not really wrong because it's my, my world, my dimension that I'm putting on, on paper. There's another channel that I created with my name on it, and I was uploading on both uh, channels at the same time years ago, and for some reason it was this channel that got the more views, so more subscribers, I think it was like 21 versus 38, so that was enough for me to... focus on this one. You know, what I had seen here is what looked like an elephant to me, like an elephant nose with an eye.
and when I was watching that report on, on missing people, <clears throat> it was saying how how many how there's thousands of children that uh, disappear in the U.S. every year, every year. They, uh, some say it's uh, another dimension or just serial killers or Bigfoot or it's basically unknown and a bunch of uh, guesses. That's the, uh, the danger sometimes with uh, not knowing and just uh, going with gossip because if you start saying that it's a little elf that's making these people disappear and someone else gullibles agrees with it then everyone's going to believe in these little elves and if it's not a actual goddamn serial killer out there on the loose then that guy goes scot-free that guy or woman so I had a cousin that almost got kidnapped in Mexico one time. And, um, I know that I'll be going back to that area. Can happen just about anywhere. What I'm doing here too is um sharpening my my leads here, my lead pencils by uh, using the uh, coloring and darkening the, the lines that I do want to keep. I'm using the pistol, pencil sideways and not like this. This, I'm not too crazy about that one. That's my name on Facebook if you want to add me or follow me on there. I may get my uh, Facebook account deleted soon because there's uh, it's really that a lot of my artwork has been flagged and I've had to delete it. And, and uh, I think for some of my anti-refugee <laughs> comments also. You know, there, there's a lot of dangers all around the world, a lot. And me being a former U.S. Marine, man, man, it fucking breaks my heart to see fucking homeless Marines on the street. You could put um there could be a transition where you could just keep putting Marines in the barracks and have them feel they have their minds occupied to to work on keep their minds busy on something else as they recover. Not just discharge them and let them wander the streets. Not I think once our boys are taken care of, then we can take care of refugees here, fleeing um, you know, radical, the more radical Muslims that are causing destruction. And yeah, that gets me worked up a bit.
for now it's only a dream, but a dream that I, I'm working on every day, that if I had a clothing company, I would just prefer to hire everyone being a Marine, mostly Marines, because there's just so many, I think so many Marines that just get when they get thrown back in here to the civilian world, they, they, me included, I, there's no none of that or um, structure, and I remember I had it tough um, getting used to people saying, "Yeah, uh huh, mm hmm, what's up, uh huh, what's up, buddy." And now I make uh, fun of that shit. I have to make fun of it because it, it, it'll get to me, but... Yeah, to create a clothing company that'll take care of them. We'll hire them. Have them fold the shirts and box them up and ship them out. But, we'll see, man. All I can do for now is just keep keep on designing, keep on drawing it, save up here and there, and let's see if I can do it. No, I'm I'm not starving, you know, right, right now, but no, I still pinch my pennies. Still pinch. I forgot where I was going with this. This looks a little cluttered here, so I'll somewhat erase it. Sometimes when they make it a case that I want to pay in cash, and the reason I pay in cash is um, I know someone who had their identity stolen. This fucking moron! I told them to um, use cash everywhere you go. Cash, cash, cash. And she uh, used her credit card so much. Paid it off, but used it so much here and there that uh, someone, uh, it's never been to London, but someone in London um, fucking spent, uh, well, I think, forty or fifty thousand dollars in her name. And uh, I just don't like having my information out there. Don't dislike that very much. That's it for now. There's a... There it is.